and Quran clearly mentions in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, that if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. Most of the religions say that killing innocent human being is wrong. Quran goes a step further and says that if you kill any innocent human being, it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. And it does not stop there. It goes further and says that if you save any human life, it is as though you have saved the whole of humankind. Most of the religious scriptures do say you should not kill innocent human being. Quran goes a step further and says that if you kill any innocent human being, you have killed the whole of humanity. And if you have saved any human being, you have saved the whole of humanity. Yet, Islam is called as an intolerant religion. And I do say that Islam is an intolerant religion. Islam is intolerant towards corruption. Islam is intolerant towards injustice. Islam is intolerant towards discrimination. Islam is intolerant towards dishonesty. Islam is intolerant towards racism. Islam is intolerant towards victimization. It is an intolerant religion. See, theoretically, all the countries say that dishonesty is wrong. All the countries and all the religions, they say corruption is wrong. All of the people, they say discrimination is wrong. They say racism is wrong. They say victimization is wrong. But that is only a theory in most of the countries. Most of the countries have corruption. There's dishonesty in most of the countries. So just because Islam is intolerant towards their practices, which are prevalent in many countries, I do agree Islam is an intolerant religion. Islam is intolerant towards those things which Almighty God knows are wrong for the human being, which today many human beings feel it is a part and parcel of society. They think if you do these things, you are advanced. So Islam is intolerant to those things which the Creator feels is wrong and many of the human beings today feel are right. Islam is intolerant towards alcoholism. Islam is intolerant towards drug addiction, towards pornography, towards prostitution, towards adultery, towards fornication. Islam is an intolerant religion. It's intolerant towards the evils of the society. Because if you're intolerant towards these things, then only will you have the solution to the problems of humanity. Many people go on the defense. Oh, Islam is not an intolerant religion. It is intolerant towards the vices. But tolerant towards the things which are good. It does not force anyone at the point of the sword. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 256, like Rafi Deen, there is no compulsion in religion. Many people quote this and put a full stop. That's not the end of the verse. The verse continues. Like Rafiddin, there is no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. You have to present the truth. If you want to accept it, accept it. If you don't want to accept it, no problem. No one can force you to accept Islam at the point of the sword or the point of the gun. In this way, it is the most tolerant religion.